well, one of her gays throws an olive at my head. <laughs> and I think it's like an accident. Because olives just fly at bars right. all the time. Katy yeah. Perry's just like, them like let's just keep dancing like yeah, real yeah. supportive so we just keep living our lives and then here comes another olive at my head <laughs> so i step down at this point and then once i'm down my high heels are gone someone's on stole your shoes mm -hmm. hey what's up you guys yes welcome back to another creepy video now in today's video we're going to be focusing on something that might be one of the scariest things imaginable we're going to be talking about hell now even if you aren't a religious person you definitely know about hell there's been books written about it. There's been countless movies made about it. It's been shown in TV shows. It's been shown in music videos. It's terrified you in some of your favorite games. And it's even been shown in kids' cartoons. Now, even if you don't believe in hell, I'm sure you've thought about what it would be like to go there. How hot would it be? Would it burn off all of your flesh instantly? Would you see famous people there? Maybe even serial killers or Hitler? Would you be in constant agony and pain, but it will never go away because you can't die. You'll be feeling this pain for eternity. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about the theories of whether or not hell exists. And if it does exist, what is it like? Now, before I get into this video, I wanna let you guys know, this is not me trying to make a religious video, and I don't wanna offend you or your religion, but I am gonna be talking about a lot of different religions. Because the crazy part of it is, pretty much every type of religion has their own version of hell. So here's a few of the common threats. It's a place that's hot and filled with fire. It's filled with bad souls, people who did awful things when they were living on Earth. And it's ruled by a devil who shows no mercy. All right, so first we're gonna talk about where hell came from. Hades, the nether realm of the devil and the demons in which condemned people suffer everlasting punishment. So the dictionary says it's based on Hades. Now Hades was a Greek god and he's the ruler of the underworld, where he lives and rules over the dead, which is very similar to the devil. Now, obviously, Greek mythology and Christianity are very different, and technically, Greek mythology came before Christianity, yet they both still have some type of devil. But they're not the only ones that had one. In ancient Egyptian mythology, Osiris ruled over the dead in the underworld called Duat. Hindu cultures believe in Naraka, an underworld full of demons ruled by Yama, the god of death. So the idea of a big evil entity living underground is something that a lot of different cultures believe in. Nearly all cultures have believed in a real underworld, a universe of the dead beneath the earth. Almost every religion of the world believes in a place called hell, and it's actually believed as a literal, tangible place, this domain of evil beneath our feet. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, how could we ever know if hell really exists? I mean, we can't go there. Well, that might not be true. There are a lot of people who have claimed to die, go to hell, and then come back to life to talk about it. I mean, sometimes it does happen where somebody will temporarily die in the hospital and then they'll come back to life. So for that brief moment that they were gone, what did they see? Did you go to heaven? Yes. I mean, in, in every sense of the word, that's what my, what my experience showed me. Even the actress Sharon Stone had a moment where she died and she went somewhere else. It's sort of like passing out, except you pass kind of up. You pass I, up. Sort of, and mm -hmm. you have this big blow up thing, and you know, I don't know how to. I don't know, I never had it, so I don't know. I'm waiting for you to Anybody it. here have it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, those two cases were great. Those people supposedly went to heaven, but for a lot of people, that's not the case. This pilot was in a plane crash, and he was in the hospital where he temporarily died, and he says he went to hell. It is the most horrific hopeless, terrifying feeling that you can even imagine. Yeah, and it just gets more intense. When I was in the darkness, I felt what it would like to be eternally doomed, incarcerated, and it was non-negotiable. There was no turning back. Here's another man that talks about his experience in hell. I just knew that I was going to hell, and I knew that was the enemy that came for me because when I looked up, I looked right into his face and eyes. And it, it was so huge, it was almost looked like a fallen angel. Yeah, and the way this next guy described it really fucked me up. There were people literally inside this pit burning. It's the most awful sight to see a person on fire, burning, screaming. The screams were so loud from just millions of people at the top of their lungs screaming. Now there's even this tape of a supposed exorcism. A teenage girl is supposedly possessed by a demon who lives in hell and 
hates it there. Mm. You've been to, have you ever been to hell? Yes. What's it like down there? It's so, so dark. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's burning up down there. People screaming. People screaming. Everybody's screaming. Devil's down there. All of us are down there. Satan. He's down there. He's, he doesn't like it. Nobody likes it down there. It's so hot. 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 It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It's there. Now, all of those experiences are very intense, but some people don't feel anything. Some people who have died said that they died and it was like total blackness, and then they came back to life. But what is interesting is the people that said they saw hell specifically all saw very similar things. Now, is that because they really went there, or is that because their brain was fucking with them and that's what they expected to see? Well, that brings us to a few theories on why people see different things when they die. So first is the expectancy model. The theory states that the mind sees what it expects to see based on thoughts and experiences of the person experiencing the vision like a self-induced dream. So basically, if you're dying or if you're having a near-death experience, your brain might create a vision of hell because that's what you think hell looks like. Now, we've talked about the process of death before, and we talked about how I saw my grandma die, and she saw heaven. She told us exactly what it looked like. She put her arm out to reach for her husband. So in my heart, I feel like that was real but technically it could have just been her brain creating all of those visions. Now, some people who have a near-death experience where they see nothing and it's like total blackness, that's called the disassociation model. The theory states that in order to disassociate with the fear or sometimes painful experience of dying, that our mind sends us into a place of comfort and peace and gives us a sense of detachment from the body. So think about it this way. If you got into a car accident and you're trapped and you're bleeding to death, the pain is probably so intense that your brain might create another place for you to go. And maybe this place is peaceful and dark and black and it feels like you're dead. Maybe that's your brain's way of helping you out so you don't have to feel all that pain. Now, when some people have a near-death experience, they say they see the light. Well, this could be the birth model. Now, when a baby's being born, what it sees is a tunnel of light. And as it comes out, the light hits its eyes and it blinds the baby. This sounds very similar to what people say when they're dying, that they see the light. So it makes you wonder, is it just full circle? Or forget about those theories. What if when you die, you are reborn as something else? And that's why you see the light, because you're being reborn. I don't know, I find something very comforting about that. Now listen, I could get really in detail about the real theories of why hell exists, and a lot of those theories involve Christianity and brainwashing, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little uncomfortable talking about it. As some of you guys know, I was raised very religious. I mean, I grew up going to a Catholic school. Then after I left there, I became a born-again Christian at 12. And as I've gotten older, my thoughts on Christianity have changed a lot. <laughs> Clearly, I'm in a relationship with a man, which in the Bible means I will go to hell. So over the years, I've created a different relationship with God. I kind of see God as something bigger. He's uh, somebody who I talk to, someone who I feel is watching over me. Now, the God that I believe in, the God that I feel is watching over me, wouldn't have a hell. I mean, at least not the type of hell that we've seen in movies and TV. But here's where it gets kind of crazy. If you really dissect the original version of the Bible, hell is mentioned, but not in the way that we know it now. Now, there's even some priests who believe that the translation of the Bible might have been heightened a little bit when it was talking about hell because maybe they wanted to scare their believers. Now, here's a priest that's talking about just that. I don't think hell exists. I happen to believe in life after death, but I don't think it's got a thing to do with reward and punishment. Religion is always in the control business. Uh, and that's something people don't really understand. Now, he's not the only priest that feels that way. There's a lot of others that do. But for every one that believes in that, there's about 10 that talk like this. There is hell fire. There is fire in hell. In Mark chapter number 9, four times in talking about hell, he said it's a place where the fire is not quenched. Where the fire is not quenched. There is a literal fire in hell that is burning right now. Now I know this is all a little confusing because priests are Catholic and Christian is different. All I'm trying to say is the idea of hell has been around for a long time and it's not just Christians and it's not just Catholics. It's pretty much every religion. So now I'm going to get into my thoughts on it. Do I think hell exists? 
kind of. I don't think it's fire. I don't think it's some big demon fucking fucking people in the butt. I think it's darker than that. I think it's complete isolation. I think the way you live this life is what's getting you ready for the afterlife. And if you've lived this life well, you get to be reborn and go to the next phase. But if you did not live this life well, then maybe you get stuck in complete isolation and you have to slowly try to get to the next phase, but maybe you'll never get there. And to me, honestly, that sounds worse than fire. That sounds awful. But I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. Do you believe in hell? Have you been raised to believe that there's some place that you should fear? Or do you not believe in any of this shit and you think we're crazy that we're even talking about it? All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this creepy video. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to do more afterlife theories. I kind of want to do one on reincarnation and I kind of want to do one on heaven, honestly. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see some of my other scary videos, I did one about the end of the world theories and I've done one on the simulation theory, which basically states that maybe our whole world is a video game. All right, you guys, I'm going to go and maybe I will see you in hell. Hopefully not.